right here. We're ready. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy, this is Black Magic Enemy. Today on the channel, I have a grocery haul. I love grocery hauls. Don't know why, they just entertain me. For some reason, they entertain some of you guys as well. And I love to share them with you guys because if you guys like them, I like them. If we both like them, why not share them? So you may have seen that I'm currently doing a 90 day challenge and it has been exactly that, a challenge. And I just got back from a vacation. I literally just got back last night, almost one o'clock in the morning. So I'm very exhausted and it's almost 11 o'clock right now and I am trying to be a better YouTuber and film the same day that I do things so I want to show you guys everything that I purchased before I put it away and go to sleep so as I mentioned I'm trying to eat healthier just get back from vacation I ate a ton of crap and so yeah we're just trying to get back on like the path of like righteousness and health for today's grocery haul I went to Kroger and Trader Joe's and honestly I was trying to shop on a budget because I'm just trying not to spend a lot of money lately and I'm really tired of eating a ton of crap and eating healthy can be very expensive also so I went to both places and got some good things. So let's go ahead and start with the canned and bottled shit. Start out, we have some garbanzo beans. These are the Trader Joe's organic garbanzo beans. There's not much to say about this other than it's good for fiber. Got some cannellini beans. I think that's how you say it. This is the Kroger brand. Honestly, I don't really care when it comes to beans and things. I honestly just look for the cans that have like the least ingredients, don't have so much sodium in them or have no sodium whatsoever. I actually saw a video recently from one of the like cooking channels and they use cannellini beans to make something vegan and so I'm gonna attempt to make that and I might record it for you guys so make sure you guys subscribe so you can see what I make with this. Where I live, there really isn't that many bulk stores. For garlic and onion powder, I usually like to get them from like Whole Foods or Sprouts, but a lot of times it's pretty expensive and it adds up. So I just went ahead and got some garlic powder from Trader Joe's. You guys may already know that I'm a bougie little bitch. And so, grade A maple syrup. This is the Trader Joe's brand. One of the cheapest ones out there. It's like $4. And I mean, I don't know. I don't really eat like sweets and I don't really eat like pancakes and those kind of things but when I do I like to have quality maple syrup or some kind of sweetener so I don't know I have to do it I mean you gotta be a little bougie sometimes. Some olive oil. This is the Trader Joe's imported olive oil from Italy. Probably one of the cheapest olive oils that I've seen out there that's like good quality olive oil. I like to get this one because it is affordable at Trader Joe's, easy to find and I don't know just good quality olive oil that is good quality. This isn't really canned or bottled, it's just like a plastic container. Um, this is silk yogurt. I was actually looking for coconut yogurt, but they didn't have any at Trader Joe's and they didn't have any at Kroger. So I went for the plain, just silk soy yogurt. Um, this is just dairy-free yogurt alternative. I never really liked yogurt growing up, but recently I've been doing a lot of like chia seed puddings and those kind of things. So this is a staple currently for my healthy 90 day challenge lifestyle conversion, whatever you want to call it. Green damn things. Yes, I said it. I've been enjoying eating green things lately. Honestly, vegetables just provide this like energy, these good vibes, these healthy healings. I don't know what that is, but this is what I went vegan for, this exact feeling. So to start out, we have some kale. I love kale, sometimes. I don't really love kale, not gonna lie, but I do love kale. It's like a very versatile, little vegetable it's a very hearty green which is like way better for you if you are just becoming a vegan or trying to eat healthier and you're still eating iceberg lettuce let me tell you something honey it's time to convert to some gale you guys are ready now the persian cucumbers have recently become a fave of mine i went to trader joe's the first time i went to trader joe's in a very long time recently I got me some persian cucumbers because this is the only place that i find them at this is something new for me these are turnip greens the reason why i got these is because they're I don't know, just like very reminiscent to me of like spinach, even though they're not spinach. And also because I wanted to do kind of like collard green wraps, but collard greens are like huge. And I wanted to do just like some simple, tiny little wraps. Um, I got a lot, which I don't recommend if you're not a person that likes to eat greens, but I'm trying to force myself to eat more like salads and greens and just add it to like freaking everything. Next thing I got was some cilantro. I usually don't get cilantro like packaged. I hate that they package everything. I got two stocks of celery. I recently, made another grocery haul video that I have not posted yet. I literally bought like three or two socks of celery and I was supposed to juice them to make a video for you guys and I never did. I'm buying this again. I'm gonna do it this week. I'm so excited because I've really been getting into celery. It's also very cheap. Like celery is just another, like greens are just so versatile. Why? But I mean, yes. 
Okay, so I don't know if this counts as a green, but it is green. So these are plantains, platanos, and I just get them verde because I like tostones. I let one of them get dark so they can get like the sweeter yellow color, and then the other one I eat right away because I like it to be like the normal, ripe, not ripe, I don't know, tostones. Just get you some plantains, they're so versatile. This is something that I'm actually excited about. So I normally don't buy like cut up lettuce, like pre-packaged because it goes bad really fast. Um, however, this was on clearance or on sale. So Kroger has these like woohoo deals and so they're pretty damn good. Since I wanted more of like a crunch in my salad since the greens are not that like crunchy, I like to get some kind of lettuce. So this is just like lettuce, carrots, red cabbage, but I like to get this just because it adds some like excitement to the salad. Sticking with the pre-packaged, um, I got some coleslaw. I was gonna get two cabbages to make my own coleslaw and then use the rest of it. But I know myself, guys, I really do. And you really just need to trust yourself and your intuition because if you're telling yourself that you are not gonna use the rest of that cabbage and it is gonna go bad, why do it to yourself? This is another woohoo deal. This is a 99 cent um, baby dill. And what I like to do with this is just add it to like a little bit of mayo with garlic powder, a little bit of Dijon mustard, onion powder, salt, pepper, and this, and you got yourself kind Kind of like a ranch style sauce that you can use in different kind of things lemon freaking grass yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am it's only a dollar something so i like to get these little stocks and just keep them either in my freezer or in my fridge i throw them into like soups i throw them into little dishes when i make tofu i like to chop it up saute it and it's just like ugh. zucchinis yes zucchinis we are going to be using these in a meal prep video coming very soon and i honestly fell in love with these like when my boyfriend made me zucchini like pasta noodles with just like a tomato sauce and meatballs and okay so the next two things are not actually green things but i mean they are like vegetables so we're gonna keep them with their family okay L let's just do that so i got this woohoo deal this is 179 and this is the private selection brand at kroger which is like a little uppity like snotty brand of the other brands this is a gourmet blend it's cremini shiitake oyster mushrooms which are some of my favorite mushrooms a deal is a deal so i'm literally just gonna like cook these up add it to like I don't even know. But we're gonna cook these up and mushrooms are just, just great. Carrots, so you don't go blind. I love carrots. I literally use them in everything and anything. When I make my beans, I add carrots. When I make my soups, I add carrots. When I make pasta sauce, I add carrots. And these literally last me forever. And like I said, I add it to everything and anything and I got 2020. <laughs> Mangoes. Mangoes are literally one of my faves. I love to have this in my fridge. I add them to dressings. I make puree with it. I add it to just like my mouth because I'd be hungry and want to snack on something. And mangoes are just delicious. Fuck, I forgot to put this in the freezer. So I have some berry medley. This is literally just a berry blend that is a frozen bag. I totally forgot to put it in the freezer and it's been sitting out while I've been waiting to film this video. Um, yeah, I literally just like to have this on hand for making my smoothie. If you guys have not seen that smoothie recipe, I'm gonna link it down below and up here for you guys. It's just so damn good. Bananas, can you really go wrong here? These are organic. Trader Joe's had them for 25 cents each. I thought that was a steal. Literally, you can add this to your freezer, unpeeled or peeled, and add it to a Ziploc bag. Save it for a smoothie. Make some banana ice cream, nice cream as they like to call it. Eat it like a normal person as is, and you will get all the health benefits that bananas have to freaking offer. Uvas. I've recently been adding these to um, like chickpea salads or like when I make tuna fish salad or chicken salad and it's just like a nice sweet addition to that. When I'm editing videos, like I was just editing a video right now and you guys right now, blackberries are my favorite. And so I got one little small package because it is currently winter time and they're freaking expensive. I think even in the summertime, blackberries are so damn expensive. Sticking with the berry family, I got some blueberries. This was on sale. I think it was like a dollar something. Super duper cheap. When I don't want to pay for the blackberry price, I usually just get blueberries. Still a berry, still good for you. These were on sale. These are strawberries and they were three for five. I only got one though because I was on a budget and I know that I wasn't going to use them all up. So I mean, just because you see them on sale doesn't mean you should buy them at all. And so what I'm going to be doing with this is adding it to my chia seed puddings or my smoothies. Carboni. So I am on this health kick. So I'm really not trying to eat as much bread, but I'm not getting rid of the bread, if you know what I'm saying. So I got some whole wheat 
ham burger buns. These are just Trader Joe's hamburger buns. Nothing too special about them other than they're whole weeds. We've already eaten two today for dinner and they were actually pretty good. I went for the Trader Joe's or Trader Jose's flour tortillas. Um, literally just got these because they were cheaper than the healthier ones. I really don't eat this as much. So like I didn't feel bad if I add this to my freezer, grab a tortilla whenever I need one. So I'm not going to be like overkill with the tortilla. So I don't feel bad. Ezekiel bread. Um, this crap was freaking expensive. It was like four something for a loaf of bread, which I never do because that is expensive. I only buy like artisan bread for like four dollars or up. So I got this one though because it is healthier. You can add it to your freezer, toast it whenever you need some. I've had this before, a friend let me try it one time and I actually did enjoy it. Also, this was the only vegan one. Trader Joe's has like four of their own kinds, but it's pretty like not vegan friendly. It has like honey, has molasses. I don't know if the molasses is vegan. Like it just had a bunch of like non-vegan products. So I went for the original brand. So hopefully it's good. Processed foods. So I honestly tried not to splurge too much when it came to the processed things, but I did find some cool things that I had to pick up. So starting with something that I always usually get, it's the beefless ground beef from Trader Joe's. I actually haven't picked this up in a while. I highly, highly recommend this one because it is very affordable and it also is like very reminiscent of like cow beef and without the cow though. So I went to Kroger today for the first time in a very long time and they have vegan cream cheese alternative now and this was like three bucks so probably one of the cheapest cream cheeses that I've seen on the market ever since I've been vegan. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. I will definitely let you guys know how it tastes. Um, I've tried a couple of vegan cream cheeses, not all of them are the greatest so I definitely stick to my go-tos like Kite Hill. I'm hoping that this one becomes a staple because it is very affordable. And the last item of this video is protein patties, plant-based burgers with 18 grams. That is a lot of fucking grams of protein and they are vegan. This is the Trader Joe's brand. This is their new vegan, like Beyond Meat, Impossible Meat burgers. Um, I'm so excited. I didn't know that they even made this. I didn't even know that this came out. It seems like it's a brand new product. So I'm definitely gonna do like a taste test video for you guys. So look out for that. But like I mentioned, vegan, lots of damn protein. And it's also very affordable. It's only like four something. So pretty cheap. It's like a dollar or two dollars cheaper than the Beyond Beef burgers. So if you wanna try out a new Beyond style burger, go to Trader Joe's. As you guys can see, we are done. The health and wealth is in our kitchen. Our bodies and the healthiness of it is going to be summoned. I'm so excited for this new journey that I'm on. I'm so excited to be like just meal prepping. I'm also very excited to be back from vacation because having people cook for me was a good thing, but too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So I'm very excited to be able to cook for myself again, eat healthier, get back to exercising, and uh, life is great. So if you guys enjoyed this video and also want to see more grocery haul videos, recipe videos, and all that good stuff, make sure you join the familia. Hit the subscribe button down below. I definitely will be sharing more videos coming up soon on like healthy eating, what I ate in the week, and those kind of things. So if you're into that, like I said, join the familia. Subscribe down below. So I'm going to take my butt to bed. I will see you guys later. Have a good, good rest of your day. Y hablamos ahorita. Ciao.